Hey, welcome to the channel. It's been a long time since I put out a video, so welcome back. Or if you're here for the first time, let's do this. I'm gonna be hunting curb strips today. It's a little noisy right when I'm doing the intro, but no big deal. All right, so we got our first target. It's a curb strip right here. So I think it's gonna be a dime. Let's see what we got here. This target's everywhere, so you gotta make sure it's the right place. So curb strip hunting is interesting because you don't know what you're gonna find. Sometimes you have really good stuff, sometimes it's just whatever. Got a coin right here and copper penny. The curb strips, you just want to go slow. No Z swinging. Z swingings like this. You want to go back and forth and overlap. Take your time. Then inspect. There's a million bottle caps in here, which you probably can't see from the GoPro, but. One sounds like two targets to me. <clears throat> Let's see what we got here. So it's either gonna be a dime quarter or there there's the second one. Dime quarter, bottle cap, or all three. Let's do that one first. Okay, so we got a screw. <laughs> see what else we got in here. Now all the targets are gone. So let's reset this thing. Okay, so you see this netting in here? So this curb strip's been redone, so it's not gonna have old stuff like I want. I want like old coins and things like that. You can still find them, but probably not gonna have it or it's gonna be deeper. All right, we're going back to two hands. Okay, now that I put all the dirt back in there, there's something, something going on. Sounds good. So in my experience, it's usually right beside the hole that I dug. So let's pop all this back out. Should be picking it up. Interesting. It's gonna be some weird piece of metal because it's yeah, some piece of junk. There actually, there actually was a coin in there. There might even be more. I don't know. Got a solid uh, 22 right here. Those can be like keys, bullets, brass things, rings, and garbage. Seeing uh, some uh, rust there, so that's usually something bad. Got a wire so far. Let's 
so I was off. <laughs> I'm realizing with the amount of uh, targets that are in the ground here, I need kind of a sniper coil for this. Uh, sniper coil for this um, curb strip, this particular one I'm in right now. There's someone living in that car right there. Okay, this is like our best signal so far. Let's see what we got here. Regular pin. Hoping this one, it's like a 25, 26, could be a dime. See the coin right there. Yep, another copper penny. You just methodically go down the, the curb strip. Taking your time, sometimes you go back and forth. Since there's people living in cars and stuff here and they're a little more aggressive, I try not to keep going. Solid 22, let's see if it's a jump or something good. You can kind of tell it's a bigger object. Bottle cap. Okay, it's deeper, that's good. Ah, see right here. Some kind of old ring. Here's our strongest signal so far. Hoping it's gonna be a quarter. Or better. Oh, we got it right there. Boom. Modern quarter. Oh yeah. It's our first low tone. It's like a 13. That sounds pretty solid. It's usually, usually pull tabs or nickels. Okay, let's try this real quick. Now it's a big target all of a sudden. Could be a gold bangle. <laughs> Stephanie a bangle. No, nope, it's not gold. Cool find though. I don't find many of these, so yeah, yeah. Got another high tone right here. Seems kind of big. So usually at the curb strips, it's part of a car or something, from an accident or something like that. Okay. It's 
like we got some kind of earring or something. From long ago. That's why it rang up so good that there's two rings on here. Cool. Still another target in here somewhere. Right there. Oh, here's the rest of whatever it was. Definitely not gold. Super light, so. Some kind of little earring back in the day, maybe. Got another nice tone right here. Let's see what this one is. And we have another penny. So that's usually how it starts off, lots of pennies, and then you know, then you start to get all the finds, or you find something right away. Chasing that quarter signal here. Trying to do this so uh, one-handed. Let's see if we got anything. So far, I've gotten everything except for a quarter and nickel. What do we got? Got a straw, lots of straws. Okay, it's in that back corner somewhere. All right, we're gonna see what it is. And we have some kind of plug. There we go. All right, I just hit this target right here. I cleaned it off already a little bit, but it's definitely um, a Shell Station presidential coin. I'll get a close-up of that uh, for you guys. And uh, bring it pretty good, almost like a quarter. Yeah, it's got too much mud on it, so stay tuned. Best find so far. Oh, yeah. Another dime type signal right here. That should be right there. Let's see if we can get this one. There it is. Looks like it's a penny from here. Yep, oh, copper penny. <laughs> But there's still another signal in there. It's been like that all day. Where's an extra signal in there? Okay. Boom. Look at that. Not a penny. Alright, so my metal detector ran out of batteries. So make sure you have a good batteries before you go out. Otherwise, you have a half hour hunt like I did. But here's what I found. Uh, it just was just getting started. So maybe a dollar in coin. It's got like a little uh, belt buckle looking thing. Presidential coin. A little bangle. A little piece of lead and some copper. So I'll be out there again soon. Yeah.